In this video, we'll talk about how to obtain acetyl heart rate with point of kill ratio. We know that dystocia is very common in small animal practice. Depending on the paper you read, uh, up to 5% of dogs and cats parturitions may be associated with dystocia. One of the most important steps you want to take while assessing a patient with dystocia is to determine if fetuses are viable, and if so, what are their heart rates? In dogs, we know that the normal heart rate of the fetus should be at least 170 to 180 per minute, and in cats, it could be higher, starting with 190 to 200 beats per minute. The most accurate way to determine the fetal heart rate is to image the fetus with point of care ultrasound. One of the biggest challenges veterinarians may deal with while trying to get the fetal heart rate is the accuracy. Because if you're just trying to do it subjectively by looking at the beating heart of the fetus and counting heartbeats per minute, it may be extremely hard to do so if the heart rate is 160, 180 or greater than that. Therefore, the most accurate way to do so would be to use the M mode, which I'm going to teach you during this video. I will use the Logic E point of gel ultrasound machine. In your practice, you may have a different machine, but majority of modern machines will have different presets that will allow you to get the heart, fetal heart rate by using the M mode. All right. So in general, there are two ways how you can get the fetal heart rate. First in cardiac mode versus in abdominal mode or preset. And I will teach you both. In order to choose a preset, you need to find a button on your machine. In this case, it's over here. As you click on preset, you will have different options. Right now, I'm going to start with the cardiac preset, and then we will go on to the abdominal preset. Step number one, you want to identify the fetal heart and zoom it in. You want the heart to look as big as possible so that you may get the most accurate readings. In this particular video, I'm actually using not the fetal heart rate, but feline adult heart as an example. With abdominal preset, I will do the measurements on the actual fetal hearts. As soon as you identify the fetal heart and optimize your image, made it bigger, you want to turn on the M mode. M mode stands for motion mode. In other words, it allows an operator to evaluate the motion in a still image as depicted on the bottom picture over here. Once you turned on the M mode, you want to put the cursor across the heart so that you can see different phases of heartbeats in M mode below. Next, you will need to freeze your image so that you can assess the heart in the M mode as a still image. By looking at the still image in M mode, you should be able to differentiate between the systole and diastole. During systole, the left ventricle of the fetus will contract and the lumen between the two walls of the left ventricle will be diminished as opposed to diastole when the left ventricle is relaxed and the lumen will be enlarged in its diameter. The next step in order to get the fetal heart rate on cardiac preset is to choose the RVLV study and then confirm in your selection. Next, you will see that there's an option called heart rate, which you will confirm by clicking on calcs and enter. The last step in getting the heart rate of the fetus by using the cardiac preset is to choose one cardiac cycle. In order to do that, you need to put your caliper uh, at one systole and extend your caliper to the following systole. So it should be just one cardiac cycle. So you can use two systoles or two diastoles. It doesn't matter as long as it's just uh, a length of one full cardiac cycle. As soon as you confirm the position of your caliper, 
the machine will give you the fetal heart rate. In this case, it was 279 beats per minute, which would be extremely hard to get uh, with just subjective counting by looking at the beating heart. Next, uh, we will talk briefly about how to get the same measurement in abdominal preset as, a, as opposed to cardiac preset. The principle is going to be exactly the same. Uh, you choose your abdominal preset. You won't have options available in cardiac preset, such as LDRV study, but the majority of machines will have an option called HR or heart rate. You click on it, you identify the fetal heart as depicted on this image over here. You choose the M mode, and then you put the cursor of the M mode across the heart in a similar way as I demonstrated previously. And you freeze the image in the M mode. Now you will see the M mode in a still image. And instead of choosing one cardiac cycle, you will need to choose two cardiac cycles. So this is a systole of the cardiac cycle number one. Then we're going to skip the next systole and we're going to choose the second systole. So our caliper will uh, involve the two full cardiac cycles. As soon as you confirm the position of your second caliper, you will get the fetal heart rate, which is in this case around 216 beats per minute, which is pretty normal for a canine fetus.